Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be filming an unboxing slash setup video with my dad of a BL7000 SLX Quick Jack. It's actually like a little bit of a Christmas gift early for me, my dad, and my brother. So we're going to get to this unboxing and setup today in this video. And yeah. So if you guys already haven't liked the video and subscribed down below, go ahead and make sure to do that. So before we get into this unboxing slash setup, I'm going to show y'all what we have to do with the boxes. Or show y'all what the boxes are. And actually what the product is if you're not sure of it. So let's get right into doing that. So we got box number one out of three right here. This is actually the quick jack. Those two. This is box one out of three. And this one is box two out of three. And then we have box three out of three right here, which is like the, all the electric components. As you can see, wires. He's already opened that one and this one to find the instructions. But yeah, we've already read the instructions, so we know what to do when we unbox it and we can set it up all in one video for you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into the video. Also, before we start this video, I actually created a new Instagram account for the SC300. It's called Black underscore SC3. And I'm going to be uploading that, uploading on that a lot more, making updates to the car. I'm going to be posting it on there. And like, so you'll get early access before the YouTube videos if you're interested in that. So if you haven't already, go check out that Instagram. It's going to be down in the description below. And that's going to be all for the intro. Let's get it. Let's go ahead and start this video. We're going to start off by opening first box. We already read the instructions. Is that wood? Yeah, it's wood. Put a little glue on. So here we have it. How it looks like in the box. Okay, so this is this is the front. This is the left one. This is the left one. So this one actually goes on that side. Second box. Oh, we got to cut yeah. those. Basically the same as the first box, just the other side. Set of parts list. Yeah. And a warning thing. <laughs> Stop. Oh, that's in Spanish. I don't know. Short cable. Before returning this product to the store, please contact the check immediately. There's two, two long cables. This is a box of fittings. That's a lot. Oh, there's a controller right there. You got an orange one. You didn't get a green or a yellow one. So you put one of the small ones 
on here. And the same thing on the other side? Yeah. And do you have to take that off to put it in? Yeah. Basically mir mirrors of each other. Alright, so he went ahead and put the smaller attachment that it came with onto the two shorter hoses to connect up to this right here and also this on the other side. They're all good. So he's pouring the transmission fluid. Which, what, what else could you have gotten besides transmission fluid? Uh, regular hydraulic uh, fluid. But this is just better? Well, I don't know if it's better, but it will work. Oh. You could use any type of Dextron 3 or 4 or Mercon 3 or 4. Um, How many quarts of that do you need? I need 2.1 quarts. So you need to get started. Well, I'm gonna see where I'm at. Point one of a quart. It's like a tenth of a quart. Here's basically the setup. All right, so we got our underneath on Ed's car, as you can see. We're about to lift it up, and that's the ultimate oh. test to see if it works. I should not take a minute. Here we got everything set up. Is it lifting? Not yet. Just gotta push fluid through the line first. Oh. <laughs> Damn. There it goes. All right, so we just lift it up a little bit. Yes, I'm filming this. <laughs> Alright, are those uh, pinch blocks centered right on those rubber blocks? No. And yes. Oh, and no, actually. Alright, so we're about to lift it again. We had a, a little leak. And now it should be all good. Had to tighten everything up. Hold on, let me look at these. I mean, I don't think I, uh, this, the front one's perfect. All right, well, all we gotta do is that. Oh, okay. 
So yeah, it's good. We want the, the, the that's why the magnets are on that pinch block. Because you don't so want you the magnets to move. move. Yeah. You want the... All right, I'm going up. Right. Is. This uh, angled arm that says warning. Yep. Is that behind? There should be a, a block in that channel. Yeah. That should be it. All right. Is there any fluid coming out of that? Not right there, no. and not right there. Connections are tight. I got a teeny tiny little bit of fluid. I don't know what All right. So that's the final lift. Yeah, I got a little bit. Pretty easy fluid. setup. Took about. Alright, I'm going up. Pretty easy setup. Took about one hour. <laughs> but that wasn't all the way up? No. Oh god. It's pretty damn high. You could sit under that. I know. Did it fall in behind the second block? Yeah. Yep. Alright, that's up. A little sneak peek. We got an exhaust coming to the channel for the GT. Is that what you're using that for? No, we just got it yeah. to have. I was about to say that's a, that's a tight, tight thing. So, here's how much room we have underneath the car. How much? What is that? Two feet? Three feet? It's about 18 inches. So, one, one and a half. One and a half, but it seems like it's a lot more than that. <laughs> Oh, to the bottom of the car, it might be like barely more. Two, it two push feet. The pinch block forward here. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And peace.